before he was wielding a sword as Conan the Barbarian, before he was terminating as the Terminator, and before he was teaching kindergarteners as an undercover cop, he was pumping iron in the hit 1977 classic, Pumping Iron. I just watched this documentary, I guess, for the first time, and I have to say, <laughs> it, was, it was something. I'm only talking about this movie today because I had a YouTube join member by the name of Gumo, or Gummo, G-U-M-O, I'm not really sure how you say that, recommend I watch this film, and since he supplied money, I have to supply a review and give him a shout out, so thank you very much. We're talking about Pump and Iron. We're talking about Arnold. We're talking about Lou Ferrigno. We got Franco Colombo in here, Mike Katz, Ken Waller. They're all massive. They're all Adonises of men. And they're also kind of funny, whether it's intentional or unintentional, because as it stands, Pumping Iron is a very bizarre film. A film that doesn't really do much of anything. It's not even an hour and a half. It's got some pretty shoddy camera work. It's not visually anything appealing unless you're really into greased up men who are on steroids. And it's got some bizarre commentary, mostly coming from Arnold himself. I genuinely have no idea what the point of this movie is. I guess it's to give you a little glimpse on the inside of muscle building and the Mr. Universe contest and all that stuff. But really, at the end of the day, there's not much to it. It's a bunch of dudes who want to sculpt themselves like their artwork. They're constantly working out together while trying to take each other down. They're motivating, but they're also de-emphasizing each other. It's just this hilarity of backstabbery and friendship. Most of these guys are very nice. Arnold, though, is just beautiful here. He is so funny. And I know the guy is funny, or at least that's what I've been told, but I genuinely don't know if he's making jokes here or if he is kind of the joke. At one point in the movie, he talks about how working out to him is like reaching climax. It's like coming during sex, he says. I'm coming in the morning, I'm coming in the afternoon, I'm coming in the competitions, day and night, coming everywhere, get down! There's so much of it, you idiot, look out! That's, that's almost verbatim, what he says. At another point during the interview with Arnie, He's talking about when there's a guy that comes up and he is just as big as Arnold. Well, that's not true. No one is. The guy is an Adonis. He's his own thing. But when a guy gets close, when he challenges him physically, then this is where Arnold goes into the mental game. He's playing 3D chess. Big brain energy going on here. And what he says next is so homoerotic. I can't help but think it's it's bordering on parody. He tells the interviewer that when one of these guys starts to pose a threat, He'll invite them over to a hotel, and this is Arnold's direct quote, it will be a night he'll never forget. I'm sorry, what? You're gonna take him to a hotel, and you're going to have a night with him. But then he goes into some more detail. He says he's going to get in his head, and then he doesn't really make things better. He talks about how he's going to build himself up while kind of putting the other person down. And seeing his physical prowess is gonna be enough to repel the other person, make them quiver under the weight of the demigod, nay, God, they see above them. Because Arnold's one of the taller guys. Lou Ferrigno's taller, but Arnold, I mean, come on. I mean, he's, he's perfect. He talks about how perfect he is. His arms are proportioned to his chest. His chest is proportionate to the thighs. The thighs are proportionate to the calves. He never mentions the shaft. I have read, and maybe this is an old wives' tale, I don't know, but steroid abuse can really do a number on the Johnson. Really kind of, really kind of shrink that guy up. But then again, if you're hitting the juices constantly, you probably don't have that big one to begin with. You're probably not there mentally. There's a guy at my health club, I try to work out every day without taking any of that shit. Um, but there's a guy that's, that's like this tall. His arms are like double my size, so he's just like, He's like Popeye. That's a good reference. Popeye. Holy shit. How old am I? Anyway, in the parking lot, there is a truck that's jacked so high up, you could fit another truck underneath of it. Massive tires. Probably one of those ball things that's hanging in the back. I can't confirm nor deny that. I don't remember. I'm going to assume there's one there. I had no idea who owned that truck, but based on the human psyche, I took an educated guess 
that this little dude was the owner of that vehicle. And sure enough, a couple days later, he Tom cruises over to that truck, drops the ladder. Honks the horn, which I shit you not is a fucking air horn. Starts that thing up. Driving over cars. I'm a man! I'm a man! Now, I'm not discrediting bodybuilding. I do have a problem with cheating, though, when it comes to sports. And I genuinely think that taking steroids or any sort of major supplements that change your body all crazy is kind of bullshit. And it's like, what, what are we doing here? That's not impressive to me. When you can just stick yourself with something or rub something on and suddenly... <laughs> no, all natural or bust. So watching these guys all greased up, looking super weird, that does that that's no different to me than looking at those little Miss America pageants where there's like a nine-year-old who looks like a skank and her crazy ass moms in the audience like, go get them, Miss Maisie! You're gonna win this one! And she's all caked out in makeup, has a dumbass cowboy hat. It's all weird. It's all freak show-ish to me. This movie was weird. <laughs> it was it was just bizarre. And don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of Arnold. I love his movies. The dude's pretty cool. But this this was this was the weird side of it that I don't need to see any more of. He did have a cool ass line in there at one point. The guy was talking about how Arnold's won five times over. Because that's what this is all about. It's about the best of the best coming together. Spoiler, Arnold wins again. And then retires, so he went out on top. But the trainer says to Arnold, when you are the king, the only place to go is down. And then Arnold responds, or stay up. Mm. Yeah, that's, good. That, that's a good line. That's a good line. Oh, the last thing I have to point out is the music. Just to add yet another layer to this sausage fest, keep in mind this came out in the 70s. That doesn't mean it had to have porno music in the background. The whole thing's like... Such an odd movie. And listen, you can get motivation out of anything. Watching a movie like Pumping Iron, it did make me want to hit the gym afterwards, just like watching Rocky or Creed or any, you know, any of those sporting movies. This is a sport. There's no question that it takes a massive amount of dedication. Dudes doing it today, they're counting calories, they got their Bunsen burner, they're like mixing shit, they got potions and charts and schematics, they have printouts, they have their book with them and they're marking off their weights. Like, they have it down to a science. Way past the things I care about. But to them, it is life. They go to that iron temple. Let us weigh, they say, and then they get to work. Some of them juice up ahead of time and after and, and everywhere in between. I mean, you look at some of these guys today, they're just, they're characters. Actually, when you go to an amusement park and there's that artist that's always there that draws you and he kind of like overdoes the features, they would have nowhere to go with these guys because they have like balloons for arms and their necks like this. And they have like a 35 pack. That number doesn't even make sense. Uh, the character guy would be like, do I make you less over the top? Do I make you skinnier? Like, I don't even know where to go with this. So that's pumping iron. It looks quaint by today's standards. That's the funny part. Like these guys now, they, they don't hold a candle to the nonsense going on. They're just the beginning. Gummo, thank you once again for being a YouTube Join member and recommending this film. I came watching it. I came before the movie. I came after the movie. I came everywhere. Thank you for watching the video. Please comment if you've seen this movie and remember it or if you want to check it out now. It is free to stream with ads on YouTube and I think Amazon Prime. So, bon appetit. Like the video if you had a good time. Please think about subscribing if you haven't. I post tons of movie reviews, commentary, rants every single week. Love to have you stick around. Take care. Subscribe, you idiot! Do it now!